discovery video number 14 we're at Golden Gate Fields 12-5 claimer non-winners of two lifetime as a preferred race I have them all listed now on the uh, discovery video series page over here on the right hand side these are the races I focus on for value odds winners maiden claiming maiden special claiming races with a condition like non winners of two lifetime or letter B letter N letter Y low and bottom level claimers five this is your five to ten thousand dollar claiming races all races on the turf and all races run on a wet track this kicks off the pick four here at Golden Gate and if you watch the previous video to this it showed the strategy for the pick four you're simply going to take your uh, value odds horse and in this case we're kicking off the pick four here with number six global glow uh, nice combination here of value odds with pace and uh, look at all those purple icons each one of those stands for one of the 36 proven winning overlay angles from the ebook. Okay, and uh, as you can see here, he's got a lot of purple angles, a lot of purple boxes, much more than any other horse in the race. In any case, uh, just to uh, rehash the uh, pick four strategy, you're going to take your your single here going off at uh, good odds that's what we do we like to we like to single a long shot with a very good chance to win as opposed to single a short price horse in the pick four or the pick three it makes no sense to single a short price horse because like I said a I said in a previous video a the short price horse has to win first of all and B if he does win isn't everybody else at the track gonna have that ticket so What's it going to pay? What's well, not worth playing? Anyway, so we're going to key Global Six, uh, the Six Global Glow, uh, as a single, and then uh, who do you think we're going to play in the other three races of the Pick Four? Our strategy is simple. We're going to play the Group A horses in the other three races of the Pick Four, or if it's a Pick Three, the other two races. Who are the Group A horses? Top four picks in every race is Group A. Okay. Now, when you have a scratch, like here in the sixth race, Fanny Lou is scratched. You have to move up from the bottom to replace Fanny Lou in Group A, so you have four horses. So Group A then becomes four, five, seven, one because of the scratch okay here in the third leg of the pick four I want to talk about majestic American um, the combination of value odds with pace is a very potent angle uh, full the uh, proven winning overlay angles here the ebook number 10 the value odds angle there are five certain other icons that when listed on a value odds horse are proven to be very potent. Pace, final time, par, late pace, total pace, and of course this horse has the pace. So that's a potent angle there. Okay. And that's really all you need to know on this horse. The fact that he's going off at uh, astronomical odds, really, considering 3 to 1 is what the report says this horse's chances are, or we rate the horse true odds at 3 to 1. And if you look here, power rating is a 97, just one away from the top. Has the pace advantage, doesn't mean he has to go to the lead either. 94 workout point rating, that means there's been a lot of uh, uh, steady activity as far as races and workouts nearly a perfect pattern uh, there's just a lot of, a lot of positives going towards uh, this horse and, you know maybe the betting public looked at 
his last race at where he finished 9 out of 12 in a turf race at Golden Gate. And that race was a key race, meaning horses did come out of that race and won their next start. And I found out to be true that uh, key races are important even if the horse coming out of the key race finishes even last. I find it to be uh, important. Uh, so you know you don't need a you don't need a horse to finish in the money or close to you know the top in a key race for it to be meaningful. The fact that he's in a key race is meaningful enough. Uh, but in any case, why would the trainer switch the horse from the all weather track? to the dirt in which he ran poorly and bring him back to the uh, excuse me from the all-weather track to the turf in which he didn't really run very well and then bring him back again on the turf oh and by the way here I've highlighted this is a 6250 claimer 6250 that qualifies for a low-level claiming race it is also a turf race, so this is this race is is a double preferred race, so it's double strong for a value odds winner. But back to this: why would the trainer? You would think, looking at the running lines, the trainer might have run him on the turf, just for conditioning purposes. But he's not on the dirt, you know. And then he would bring him back to the dirt, but he's not on the dirt today. He returns to the turf. Hmm, quite interesting, isn't it? That must mean the trainer really thinks he's got a turf horse here. So he's giving him another shot on the turf. But the betting public totally dismissed that at uh, astronomical odds. And, uh, well, let's take a look. The trainer was right. Majestic American. Nearly 35 to 1 with our true odds of 3 to 1. Nearly the top pick in the race. One power point rating away from being listed the top pick in the race. Uh, the figures said this horse could compete here. And that little, that little trainer story I gave you indicated that the trainer bringing him back to the turf again really must think that this horse can handle the turf and he's got a turf horse at least at the 6250 claiming level and he was right 7120 on the wind mutual uh, nice exacta trifecta here's all your payoffs here double preferred race remember that because it's, it was a low level claimer at 6250 and a turf race makes it a double preferred race Ten dollar win bet returns three fifty six. Two dollar exacta, which we like, we wield exactas and doubles. That's uh, three hundred fifty eight sixty. Seven hundred eighty one on the trifecta. This is how you play it, by the way. Three on top with the two, four, seven, one with all. Okay. However, if you have one, two, three, four, five, six horses, if you have five or six other horses in the race, the rule of thumb is to play all in the trifecta, three all trifecta, if you have five or six other horses only. Okay. That's the rule when the trifecta strategy. Wheel the exacta. And this, of course, is you know assuming you have bankroll to play these uh, exotic wagers. Seven eighty one on the dollar trifecta. Pick three eight twenty two and. Pick four. Value odds horse kicking things off. Group A. 
then another value odds horse, the one we looked at there in the double preferred race, and then another group A, one dollar payout, eleven thousand seven hundred and seventy-eight ten. So you had uh, two value odds horses with two group A horses. That's our exact strategy. We kicked off the pick four with a value odds horse. We simply play uh, your group A horses the rest of the way. We happen to catch in the third leg another value odds horse that we were able to get some good payoffs in the exacta, superfecta, and trifecta and daily doubles along with our pick four and the two pick threes of 822 and 779 all in the sequence returning from a series or a sequence of four races with your two value odds horses and two group a horses 15,708 91 on, on yet another somewhat slow day at the races not that many tracks going all right, that is the strategy. Uh, oh yeah, and then the last, the, the second pick won the last race of the of the pick four, a Group A horse, obviously. But always remember, uh, when you have a scratch, this is very important. You're going to get a scratch. You must adjust. You must adjust Group A. Okay. You want to make sure you got your top four picks in there, and if the two the two was scratched. Your top four picks become four, five, seven, one in that particular race. Okay, and it's always good when you're kicking off a pick four to single the value odds horse, and you play with the Group A horses in the other races. Technically speaking, you could have looked ahead and saw a double preferred race here, and if you really had some moxie, you could have singled the three as well. It can be done. You could have singled your value odds horse to kick off the pick four and looked ahead at a double preferred race and said, "Well, I'll, I'm going to be I'm going to be slick. I'm going to I'm going to key I'm going to put this one up as a single as well." I mean, you could have done that, or you could have put in an extra ticket for that horse. You know, play your Group A, Group A, Group A, and then put another ticket in value odds Group A, value odds Group A, so you would have had it twice. If those two value odds horses won, which they did here, then you would have had it twice. That's just another little angle, another little way of looking at things, just to give you some, you know, some options and ideas. And uh, remember that all these purple boxes, each one of them is one of the 36 proven winning overlay angles. This particular race, this horse had much more than any other horse in the race. If you want to know what all those uh, stand for, over on the digest page that ebook is always there the free ebook 36 proven winning overlay angles Descri describes each 36 all 36 in detail okay all right another good one thanks a lot for viewing good luck with all your bets